Hello. Okay, Wicked Little Letters, a British black mystery comedy. I've been looking forward to checking this out. I liked the trailers, the film looked quite funny, and I'm a big fan of Olivia Coleman. And so, yeah, you've got Wicked Little Letters, which is based on a true scandal that stunned 1920s England. The story centres on neighbours Edith Swan and Rose Gooden in the seaside town of Littlehampton. When Conservative law Local Edith begins to receive letters full of hilarious profanities, rowdy Irish migrant Rose is charged with a crime. Suspecting that something is amiss, the town's women investigate. Now, I'm not familiar with the events that this film, that this story is based on that occurred in the 1920s, so I don't know how accurate this film is. But it is, it does have a very funny premise. It is a very funny story with these letters full of curse words and profanities and just how these letters are read out by the cast in, in these moments which are in the trailers. You know, it's incredibly funny. But the humour, as along with every other aspect really with this story and sort of certain aspects of the story, it's just everything is just very inconsistent in how they bring the story and how they structure the story. Saying that, I felt like this was a well-made film. The film looks good. All the cast, I mean, the performances from all the cast are great. And I do believe every single member of the cast carry what is really... I mean, the way in which they tell the story is done in quite a simple way. And it's not that kind of complicated when it comes to the mystery part of it. Like, I kind of guessed, I mean, you know, I'm not familiar with the story, but I kind of guessed what was happening and who was writing these letters quite early on in the story. But I do feel like the cast carry what is quite a very simple story. But when it comes to the humour, along with other aspects, I did find it to be quite inconsistent. And when I say simple story, within this story and the way in which they tell this story is done in a very simple way, but there are sort of moments where you kind of sort of observe a character and sort of see how this character or what this character is going through mentally. And you get these very brief moments, for example, of Olivia Coleman's character and sort of so the psychological torment, that mental torment that she is going through, her character's going through. And we get very brief glimpses into that. And she's absolutely superb in these moments. I, in fact, I mean, I, I mean, mild spoiler you maybe. But I felt sorry for her character. By the, by, by the end of the movie, and when we, when we last see the character, so before the film finishes, I found it to be quite emotional. Like, I, I felt really, really sorry for this character, and it's because of Olivia Coleman's fantastic performance. And, and when you get those very brief moments of witnessing that vulnerability with the character, when it, you know, when it comes to sort of where she is mentally and what she's going through, you can kind of see that sort of the attempt at adding something a little bit more complex to a very simple story. And that is kind of what I mean by sort of it being a little bit inconsistent consistent with what it was that it was trying to do because you get these moments where it does get a little bit deep because it's so you're sort of witnessing or observing a character sort of breaking down in a way but then it's very brief and then the same with the humor like the moments with these letters and when you've got these different characters reading these letters out and it's just it is funny but then it's sort of like you've got this different kind of tones and it's, it's right throughout the film. Tonally, this film is very uneven. And that applies to the humour. Because you've got some really kind of dry British humour within this film that I really liked. But then you've also got humour that's very silly. And just like, ah, oh, it made me cringe. For example, like with the police force. And, you know, you've got this police officer, this constable who's sort of investigating who it is, you know, sort of sending these letters and all of that. It's just very, very silly, and it's sort of, when it comes to sort of the type of humour that it is, it doesn't quite align with sort of the other sort of, sort of tones of humour, you could say, that's dotted throughout the film. And this, again, goes back to what I mean by inconsistent with sort of the styles and sort of tone with what it is they are trying to do and how they tell this story. And the humour was, for me, the most 
sort of obvious one. But they also sort of tried, it felt like they were trying to sort of, they captured this kind of very funny aspect of the story, which is the letters, and then kind of try to do something more and perhaps attempt to something a little bit more complex around this sort of when it comes to these characters and their journeys and it sort of ends up being quite a straightforward predictable story um and it left me sort of wanting more when it came to the complex aspects of certain characters now this is a comedy i understand that and i think this could have been a, a lot more effective and a lot darker even when it comes to the comedy if they dived more into that darker aspect of what certain characters were going through maybe. And so it, it kind of felt at the same time then I suppose restraint. It felt very restraint in what it was he was trying to do because you kind of got this kind of really kind of R-rated aspect when it comes to the humour. But then you've also got this very kind of silly childish aspect to the humour and just when it comes to the story, it all just felt very kind of safe and sort of restrained. So the experience ended up becoming inconsistent for me due to the fact that you've got these different styles and tones. So just, and layers, you know, there's a lot of layers to this film, but it's very kind of different into, you know, you've got, you've got a lot of these different kind of styles and tones and how they bring this story to life. But... I did enjoy this film. Like, it is, you know, the way in which they brought this story to life, I thought was well done. It's a solid little film. It looks nice from a cinematography point of view. And the cast all give fantastic performances. For me, really, I mean, the cast really carry this movie. I think the writing is pretty sharp. And so, yeah, it was an enjoyable experience. It was nowhere near as funny as I wanted it to be. Like the way in which the trailers sort of like the trailers focus a lot on those moments with the letters. Um, unfortunately, everything else around those moments just didn't really work in regards to the humor. So like, that's why I feel like the film could have perhaps gone more into sort of, into that kind of darker direction when it comes to the black comedy but i did enjoy this movie and there is a heart there there is a pulse it's very faint just due to the fact in how they sort of construct this story and narrative with all those kind of different styles and tones when it comes to the humor like there is a faint beating heart there um but again it just goes back to sort of how i felt overall about this overall experience which was it was it just felt a little bit restrained and like it you had certain aspects that were kind of like, when, you know, pushing it when it comes to the comedy. But then you had other elements and other aspects that were just sort of really kind of pulling back. And the same goes for when it comes to sort of exploring sort of the more complex aspects of these characters and their journeys. It was sort of touched on, but then they kind of pulled back. So it, it, it did have that kind of very safe feeling about it. But I did enjoy this. And I think, you know, there were a lot of chuckles from people watching the movie at the, at the showing that I was at. And so I think people are going to really engage and connect to this and have a lot more fun with this perhaps than I did because I enjoyed it, but I, I don't think it was nowhere near as funny as this could have been or you know, as a, a powerful experience emotionally as this could have been because there are glimpses, there are moments of that kind of big, deep, beating heart within this film and that kind of tragic aspect to a couple of the characters and that kind of let me left, left me a little bit frustrated but I still ended up really caring for these characters especially you know Olivia Coleman's character which you might find shocking but that very last scene with her in this movie I just found it heartbreaking but the way in which she does it and just brings that character to life in that moment was like wow like she really sells what this character is going through and so yeah so yeah enough rambling on f from me um that's how i felt about wicked little letters a bit of a mixed bag but i did enjoy it i do recommend it um there's a lot of what could have been perhaps but overall it's a solid you know it's a well-made solid little movie and i do recommend it so yeah they are my thoughts on wicked little letters and i will be giving wicked little letters a 6 out of 10. So yeah, 
They are my thoughts on Wicked Little Letters. But what did you guys think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you agree or disagree with anything I've said? Then please let me know in the comments below. And let's get a discussion going. And if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to watch future reviews from just some random Welsh geek rambling on, then please hit the subscribe button. It will mean an awful lot. I'm hoping to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I've almost, I've almost hit 300. And a big thank you to all those that have subscribed over the last year, or over the last couple of years. It means an awful lot to me. My next review will be for Dune Part 2. I am so damn excited. I'm going to the midnight showing. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Denis Villeneuve has brought this final part of the novel, that first Dune novel, to life. And the film looks amazing from the trailers. I am so damn excited and I can't wait to bring you guys my thoughts on Dune Part 2. Uh, probably by the weekend. It's, you're looking at probably Friday afternoon, evening where I will have my review up for Dune Part 2. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll be catching you guys soon.